All right, here's a park that I've been to before, and it was very trashy, as you can see. <laughs> but they've lowered the water. So um, Kay Beth was telling me about it, and we decided to come out here and give it a shot. You can see where the water line used to be, right about here. And that's all drained. So we're going to give that a shot. I'm sure other people have hit it because it's been like this for how long? Weeks? Yeah. Two weeks or so. So it's probably been hit quite thoroughly, but can't get everything. So we're going to try. I'll get back to you at our first good signal. We wandered over to the beach area. <laughs> okay, Beth and I, we haven't found anything. We are finding what we think are holes here. So it's been like this for two weeks. So I'm sure someone's already been here, probably more than one someone. <laughs> So all we're finding so far is some clad, not a lot of it either. A couple nickels, a couple pennies, a quarter, a dime, a couple bullets, bullet casings, a little bit of trash, and that's it. So we're going to keep trying, though, because you got the whole river here. We can just walk along the shoreline until they flood it back up. So I'll get back to you if I have anything other than <laughs> loose change. Moving on. All right, K-Beth found a wheat scent. Oh, my goodness, look how green. Yikes. <laughs> Is that a, I don't know, maybe a 54? I can't really tell. Guess that we'll have side. to clean it up a bit and figure it out. That's the other side. If you want, I have a brush. <laughs> K Beth put it back in her pouch and I was worried it was lost with all of our finds from today. 1945. Perfect. Nice. Good job. <laughs> That's our best find of the day so far. So far. And we gotta make sure we do not forget our shovels. Mine's over here. That's slow to get over there. K Beth's is right here. We can't walk out without them. Okay, moving on. Okay, Beth has found this in a hole I must have abandoned because I didn't find it. <laughs> All right, what's it say? It's Oneida. Rogers? Something Rogers. Must be William Rogers. Rogers Overland. Rogers Overland. I think it's silver plated, but I don't see anything that says what it is. But that's pretty cool. See the design on it up here. And she also found a dime, so I'm not doing a good job here. <laughs> this was deep, she said, so it's probably one of those holes I gave up on thinking it's crap down there. Okay. No, there's not. All right, so just your plain old stainless steel spoon. But cool, I'm happy with that. Moving on. Okay, I thought it was a fishing weight until I wiped it off, and then it started looking like a copper mushed up ring. Let me get out of the shade here. Because you can see the flat <clears throat> the flat part there, but this is all mashed up. But the other side still has that leady looking stuff. K Beth thinks it might be a copper bullet that hit something. It looks like it hit a rock or something and fused with it, maybe. Yep. So I'm thinking that might be what it is, but that is super cool. So I like that. So I'm gonna have to call that over my spoon as my find of the day <laughs> so far. Okay, moving on. How old that thing is? Oh my gosh, yeah, that's an oldie. Isn't that something? <laughs> yep, old cell phone. Wow. Those are the only kind I ever find are really old one. Flip yep. phones are one similar to that, Blackberries or whatever. <laughs> cool. Hey, bird. it's a cell phone. Bird. Pretty bird right there on the edge. Maybe a blue heron? I don't know. Pretty though. We're here by the boat launch area. And whoever beat us here has not been to this spot, so we're finding goodies. Nothing old, but you know, loose change, and there's no holes for us to fill in. Whoever was here first did not fill in their holes. And they even left their junk next to it, so I took their bottle cap, I took their piece of a spoon, and uh, I don't remember what else, just regular crap. Okay, moving on. Found a watch, they get ready up at 17. Yep, 16, 17 thinking it was a pull tab. It's 
Let's watch. It's not ticking, but it's really nice. <laughs> I didn't mean to yell that in your ears, guys. Justin A. Band or something. I don't know. It's cool though. Yeah. Yep, stainless steel. That's nice. Oh, right. That is nice. Yeah, it's not all messed up or anything. <laughs> Get you in there, just your hands. There we go. <laughs> nice, huh? Hey, yeah, that might be my find of the day. If it works, maybe new battery or something because it's not soaking wet. No. There's no water in it, so it might be water resistant or watertight. I don't know. Look up that brand. Yeah, definitely I will. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> that's very cool. See what you missed? J jerk who leaves everything unburied. Yep. <laughs> leaves all the holes. <laughs> that's cool, though. I like that. All right, cool. cool. Moving on. Nice titanium knife. <laughs> right up a 910. I'm guessing that's a flaying knife. I have no idea. All right, moving on. This rang up a uh, 910. It isn't gold. I'm thinking it might be just plain old stainless steel. Little heart charm. There it is. I guess it could be silver, but silver would be a higher number, I'm sure. So, I'm sure, it's just stainless steel, kind of shiny the top. We'll clean that up when we get home and figure it out. Okay, moving on. Right, we just met a gentleman named Dan who came out to check the place out. He does metal detecting. He said he got an underwater one with headphones for 10 bucks. I can't remember where he said he got it, like at a garage sale or something. He doesn't even know what kind or how to use it, but that's pretty cool. Told him to check out my channel. Now, that looks like a class from an old bathing cap. But these are our, our great finds. <laughs> the fishing lure was probably my one of my better ones. Oh, where's my spoon? I have a spoon in here too. Forgot it. Oh, and my knife. <laughs> my knife and spoon. I'm ready to eat wherever I go. <laughs> Kay Beth has a nice spoon and some, oh, her wheat penny. And her cell phone. Lots of change. Lots of change. Nice. I found this just laying on the ground, these things. So I just picked them up because they're trash. This looks like a cover plate for something, probably a boat. But I got that bullet. Oops, my thing's going to go off. Stop doing that. You're going to cut me off. Hold on. <laughs> Timer done. Stop. Okay. There we are. Cut that out. Got the little heart charm. The 68 penny. It just looks like it's a steel one, even though I know it's not. It's just from the, just from the being where it was. And KBeth has the 1974. 74 one that looks the same. I can't see what that says. Oh, 71, excuse me. <laughs> Bugs. But there's my fancy bullet, my fancy little heart-shaped pendant. That's it. Oh, geez, I almost forgot my watch. Hold on, we got a watch in here too. <laughs> Where is it? Where is that? Yeah, my husband's gonna like that. I can get it out of here. Holy smokes, so much crap in here. There it is. <laughs> got dirtier in my pocket than it did out where it was <laughs> but that's a nice looking watch very nice looking it's not running i don't know if it will run once it gets a new battery around but that's pretty cool we'll look that up and see what it is all right that's it okay beth you want to be on camera no, no thank you. <laughs> there's her feet <laughs> say hello do a happy dance there we go <laughs> all right that's it oh, just a little quick from the other day, from yesterday, at the beach we went to. Look at all those quarters. Get back to you in a minute. All right. $10.75 in quarters. 75 cents in nickels, exactly a dollar in dimes, and seven cents in pennies. Plus my free laser tag token for outer zone. And I'm not sure if I filmed this or not. This is gear. I'm assuming that's what it is, a gear. And really I didn't get much junk at all, but that was a that was a good one. Lots and lots of change. Moving on. 
All right, turns out the watch is water resistant, so it's probably no good because it's been underwater for who knows how long. Oh, I don't know if just replacing the battery will be good enough. We'll have to see. It's a nice watch. It's got a model number on it. I don't know if you can see that. And it says all stainless steel. I'm not sure if you can see that. And then it says 30, 30 M water resistance. So is that 30 meters? And how deep is 30 meters? I don't know. But it doesn't look like it's very worn. It looks like it's practically new. I got all the muck out of it. Well, most of it looks like it missed a few spots. But it's a gorgeous watch. If just replacing the battery will make it beautiful, that would be awesome. If just replacing the battery would work. That's lovely though, very nice. And this, it's a little heart, it's hollow, definitely hollow. So it doesn't weigh anything. I don't know why it would be hollow. Probably stainless, well, not stainless steel because of the color, but I don't think it's silver either because it rang up a 910. It looks like it has a little bit of color on the loop part here. I'll test it, but I'm pretty sure it's not silver. Okay, and this is just so cool, the bullet. Can you see how that is? It's like mushed in there. All these different designs. I washed it. Hold on. There's something that's bugging me. But it's just so cool the way that looks. I love that. And I don't know what's around it. If it's lead or if it's cement or if it hits something. It kind of looks like it hit a musket ball in flight. But I don't know. That's just so incredibly cool. I really love it. Okay. Well, I know my husband will like that. He likes all that artsy fartsy stuff. Here's all the change. And a key. Not a whole lot in there. I'll have to weigh it up, or not weigh it up, but you know, figure it out. But this came out really pretty. That's a pretty one. Lots of hooks and fishing stuff, which you would expect at a boat launch. All right. Oh, almost forgot the spoon and the titanium knife. My bewitched spoon, because it has the little, little stars on it, like they do on the bewitched show. Okay, that's all. I scraped it off on the testing stone. It didn't test silver. It almost looks like it's gold in this light, but I'm pretty sure it was silver. And listen, there's something in it. Because <laughs> it is hollow, but it does have something in it. Maybe little pieces left over from uh, when they made it. I don't know, but... I could probably get all that tarnish off and it's probably a silvery color, but that's pretty cool. All right, there we go. We've got $1.25 and quarters, 50 cents in dimes, 40 cents in nickels, three, four, five, 11 cents, 11, three, four, eight, 10, 12, 13 cents in pennies. Well, that other penny didn't count that. That's all our fishing crap. I'll just get rid of that. I'm not going to throw it out, though. The spoon, the knife, trash, the key. Oh, that's yesterday's. Whoops. Come on over here. The incredibly cool bullet. And that's it.